Good morning, my crafty friends. Hey, so today we are gonna try something totally new. I'm going to color some crepe paper using a marbling technique. And I'm gonna show you this. This is um, a tulip that I made using this technique. And um, here's the blue. So we're, I'm gonna show you how I created those colors. So I have a, um, a, a glass baking dish. Um, I have some paper towels here off to the side. I have some crepe paper cut into manageable pieces. And, um, and then I bought these marbling paints on um, Amazon. And um, I'll put in a link to these. And I, a couple of words of, of warning. One, it's really messy. Make sure you wear gloves. Two, once you open these paints, store them upright. I don't care how tight you put that lid on, they're going to leak. I also have a little alcohol here to the side and some baby wipes. So I'm going to put my gloves on. Always better to be safe. This will definitely ruin your manicure. Now, the color, if you do get some on your hands, by the way, wash your hands with a little bit of um, alcohol and then wash them with hot soapy water and it'll pretty much come off. But why take the chance, okay? So I've got some water here and I'm gonna put it in my pan. It's about four cups of water. Set that aside. Now, before you make the use these paints, you have to um, shake them up. As you can see, they're still leaking. You have to shake them up really, really well. And I hope that I haven't leaked out so much that there's none left in here. And it's kind of empty. So I'm gonna shake these up. I'm gonna do red. We're gonna do the reds first. I got red. Um, I have pink, got orange, and yellow. So I'm going to start with the yellow. Make sure it's shaken, re I mean, really well. I'm just going to go ahead and give these shake these some more. Okay, that should do it. So I'm going to start with the yellow. And I'm just going to put dots down. See, it's not um, shaken up well enough. It should create a round spot. Oops. There, see like that. So you see what I mean about shaking it up really well. And I'm gonna go to the orange. Put some orange, I'm gonna put a little in each. And you don't have to do it like this. I just kind of saw it done on YouTube this way. Go to the red. And this stuff has a, a funny kind of smell to it. Not, I mean, it doesn't smell toxic or anything, but it just doesn't smell very pleasant. And then we're going to add a little bit of pink. Okay. I'm going to clean off my hands. 
I'm gonna grab a skewer or wire. Grab a wire. Here. I've got a wire and I'm just gonna like run my wire through here, create kind of a paisley pattern. Set that off to the side. I'm gonna take, so this doublet is yellow, yellow, and I'm gonna take the brighter side and I'm just gonna place it down into the water and then pick it up. Look at that. And then set it aside on some paper towel to dry. We'll do another one. You can see I have lots of paint left. So, I want to make sure I get all the way to the edges. There we go. Oh, missed a spot in the middle. There we go. And it will stretch out your paper, but your paper will shrink back up a little bit. Let's do, now there's just a little bit left, but let's not waste it. Do it again. You can see you get a much lighter effect as you go along. Now, one of the things I found out is that you really need to laminate. The, there's not much left in here, but we're going to try to soak this all up. Whatever's left. Oops. Let's see if we can. You know what? I think we need to put just a little more color in here. I'm going to shake. And we'll just put a little bit, kind of random, just to kind of finish it off. I don't want to use much here. You can see with the, um, oh, that's the yellow again. With the yellow, the first time I probably didn't shake it well enough. So this, these paints have a, usually if you're doing this without these particular paints, you're going to be using a, a gum or a sizing in the water. And um, that will make the paint stick on the surface. So we're gonna do the same thing. I may just redo both of those pieces again. Just spread them around. <coughs> like I said, stuff doesn't smell that great. So let's do this one that didn't come out very well. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just going to run it through. Let me do this one again. <coughs> there we go. Ooh, nice. Let's get just a little more here on this end of this one. And it just picks it up. And then I'm going to show you another little fun thing. Let's see if I can do this while I've got you here. I have a piece of watercolor cardstock. And I'm just going to dip it into the water. And let it pick up. Let's see if we can get it to pick up that that spot. Pick it up. And um, I'm a card maker, so I can use these for that. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to soak up all the paint that's in here. That wasn't a good idea. Go that way. <coughs> so just pick up what's left on the top because it floats. Now we're going to move on to doing some blues. Just 
take that across the top. So I suppose if you want the colors to be a little clearer, you could dump the water out and start over, but since I'm lazy, so let's try the blue. So again, shake really hard. Oh, I haven't used this one yet. And then I have a lighter green here. strips but I haven't cut it down to size. So I'll do that real quick. And you just want to remember to cut this into pieces that you can work with. Okay, so we're going to take our wire and we're going to swirl the water. I didn't add as much paint in this one, so I'm gonna to try to like send it all over. Probably have to do it again for the second one. I'm put my this one's gonna come out a little more. This one will come out different. Oh yeah. This one, I should have mixed the paint up a little more. You can see it's a little splotchy. And I've got it everywhere. Like I said, this is really messy. So I've got some more paper towels over here. Just lay it there. And then we'll do another one. This one, you can see the paint's a little more spread out here. So this one's probably gonna work a little bit better. You know what it doesn't matter how it comes out it's gonna look great so i'm gonna add in just a few more because i have two more little pieces here and what you'll need to do when you make cut out your petals is you're gonna need to laminate these together because after they've been wet like this the paper loses a little of its structure i think that's gonna be enough the wire, mix it up, break this up a little bit. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And I'll move this one. Oops. Yeah, be careful because the color will transfer, which is okay. I mean, really, it's not the end of the world. Sit this down. Go. Okay, back to the project again. Cool. 
cool, huh? And then I'm going to use my piece of water. I'm not going to waste it and use my watercolor cardstock. I'm going to place it down in the water. I got a spot there. Let's see if I can get some color on there. I have to cut that piece out, but that's okay. So, but I've got quite a bit that's usable here. And this cardstock dies dries really fast. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna turn it. You can turn it into any flower you like. But I'll show you once again, I'm gonna take my gloves off because I have this on my hands. Show you once again what you get. So here's the blue. And I, you can see this one's really dark. And so I laminated two pieces together. So there's different on the bottom than it is on the top. I just tried to match up my colors as best I could. See, I have a little bit of the green here, but that's okay. And I think they came out like super pretty. So there you have it. There's a new technique for you to try. Like I said, it's super messy. And um, I'll put a link below on where you can buy these paints. Thanks so much for joining me today. And once again, happy crafting.